We're heading down the Torrance Beach ramp. That's Palos Verdes in the background. This is the south end of the South Bay bike path. So it's either the end of the bike path or the beginning, however you want to look at it. We're going to make this turn here and head north up the beach. Welcome to another episode of I Do Things So You Don't Have To. This one's I and some friends of mine are going to swim at every, every single South Bay city that has a beach. I'll We're going to swim in that city. Oh, interesting. Looks like somebody's having a baby reveal party. That got blue balloons if it's a boy, pink if it's a girl, yellow if it's an Asian kid, white if it's a honky kid. Hope they get what they want. So basically, I'm going to ride in right now to Manhattan Beach to meet up with my friends, the Delorgios, their nephew, Nick, their daughter, Ellie, a few of her friends at the Manhattan Six Man uh, Volleyball Tournament, part of the International Surf Festival. We're going to hang out there. Hopefully, we'll get some good sights and sounds on the video. We're going to swim in Manhattan. We're going to ride up to El Segundo. Then we're going to finish the day at Torrance Beach with stops in El Porto, Hermosa, Redondo, and back to Torrance. I'm going to do this because I'm a really good person. And I'm doing this so you don't have to. It's a Saturday, so you can stay home, stay in bed, do whatever you want. So we've left Torrance. We're cruising Redondo, right below the Esplanade. Right here are the famous Avenue C stairs that people use to exercise. So I'm cruising on the bike path. My, it's my opinion the bike path should be for bikes only. There should be no walkers, runners, strollers, babies, fishermen, surfers crossing it. Anybody it should be for bikes only. Unless I'm doing one of those activities. Because it's called a bike path, not an everything path. We've just passed the rock jetty that divides Topaz to the south from Sapphire on the north, and we're heading to the Redondo Pier. I would say Torrance Beach and Redondo Beach south of um, Topaz are more of a locals type beach, and here between Topaz and the pier, it's more of a tourist beach. It's easier to get to. The pier's got all kinds of stuff to do. Great people watching. Really a fun place, but it's a different vibe. Right here, about 45 years ago, when I was 15, I got a ticket for riding a girl on my handlebars. I'm minding the rules and walking through the pier area. It's something I never used to do, and I never wanted to do. And then a cop started harassing me one day and said I was gonna get a big fine. I kept doing what I was doing. So now I walk sometimes. This is often referred to as the Horseshoe Pier. There's old Tony's right there, a lot of restaurants fun places around here. This is always a fun little area of the ride. You have the marina to the left and apartments, condos, and townhomes to the right. Okay, we're leaving the pier area. We're heading towards the King Harbor area. They've really done a nice job making this bike path more user-friendly over the years. So this big parking lot is turned into a concert venue once a year, and they have a three-day festival called Beach Life. Over the years, electric bikes have kind of taken over. Each year there's more and more, and I'm still really fast on this bike. It's a single gear, beach cruiser, rusted. Um, but the electric bikes are out there. The little kids that ride them are crazy. They don't have really a whole <laughs> lot of regard for the rules, which I understand. Um, but anyway, they're getting a lot of flack from the cities for breaking the rules, and there's old people that are upset. A little controversial. To the left here is an entrance to King Harbor. Okay, we're, we're leaving the coastal section of Redondo. Redondo actually turns inland here goes into North Redondo, which is actually we're just east of Hermosa at Manhattan Beach. But anyway, we are now entering Hermosa Beach. Hermosa has a very unique feel to it. It's got the super wide beaches. It's got the bike path that butt up to the houses. It used to be known as a heavy party town. They had ski Hermosa shirts. 
A lot of the early influential punk bands were from Hermosa Beach, Practice Tigger, Black Flag, Circle Jerks, Descendants, Red Cross. Hermosa's now less chaotic. The population has aged. There's less apartments. There's more money. It's just a little bit more mellow. About 10 years ago, they put these walkways over the sand so the handicapped could get down to the water. It's pretty cool. I would never use them, of course. I'm much too cool for that. Here we are at the Hermosa Pier and the Pier Plaza area. Oh, there's a fisherman. Stay off the bike path, dude. These were two legendary Hermosa Beach watering holes, the Mermaid and the poop deck that are now closed down. Now it'll probably turn into an oxygen bar, or a pet restaurant, or a rage room. Now this place is a classic. There's good stuffs all over the beach cities. Started by Chris Bennett, University of Utah fellow Ute. Anyway, check it out. Good stuff's awesome. So in this volleyball-centric town, why, is, why aren't a bunch of people playing? I think they're all at the Six Man or the Olympics. So every 4th of July, they have the Hermosa Beach Ironman which I've done several times, along with Chase and some friends. Iron Man is run one mile, you paddle one mile, and then you have to drink six beers without throwing up. And that's the competition. And after the competition, they will out a punk rock band on the sand and a gigantic mosh pit forms. That's fantastic. And this is the location of the Iron Man. Right now we're leaving Hermosa Beach, back there. And we're heading to Manhattan Beach. We're gonna meet Jim and Betsy. There's the six-man volleyball tournament, Charles Shakely volleyball tournament that's going on, and it's an absolute madhouse. And that's from Heaven. So this is Manhattan Beach. Manhattan has its own identity too. It's uh, similar to Hermosa Beach, but a little more upskill, maybe more family oriented. Hey, less apartments. A lot of pro athletes live in Manhattan Beach and Hermosa also. But don't let anybody fool you. Manhattan Beach still has its crazy moments. I've made it to the Manhattan Pier for the Six Man. Now I have to find Jim and Betsy. So Good Stuff has been sponsoring teams in the Six Man for 30 plus years. This year they've got two teams in. Just look for the teams in the pink. Boys and girls. Or men and women. The making of a crumb donut. And on the north side of the pier, they had the International Surf Festival body surfing contest going on. I should have been in it. I'm pretty dang good. Jim and I should have worn our Speedos for today's adventure. And on the south side of the pier, it was a surf contest for the local groms and all kinds of different categories. That's the Palos Verdes Peninsula in the background. That's where we started the ride. The girl seat is getting underway is the next Caitlin Simmers in there. I've noticed a lot of shit volleyball garb around. Check them out on Instagram. It's 
pretty dang funny Instagram site. Buy some of their gear. My son runs it. This is the Masters of Vision. This is Team Caton with, with former South High star Andreas Koch. The rally was so long I had to speed it up. And they got really tired. Anyway, the team took second in the Masters. Getting ready for our first swim in Manhattan Beach. Oh yeah. You can start there. Fill this waxing in my ear. I cannot go in the water without Dr. Max Pillow Soft in my ears. If any water gets in my right ear, it stays there for months. This is Jim Delurgio, by the way. I found him. I found my bike. Nobody stole it. And it wasn't locked. Oh, really? Yeah. Probably worth $25. There's our, there's our camera woman. <laughs> the filmer. The That's filmer is Betsy Delurgio. We are heading north for our second swim. We're going to start in El Segundo. And Jim and I are going to swim all the way to El Porto from El Segundo. On your left! On your left! That's me, Karen, <laughs> bitch! Ready? On your left, asshole! Oh, come on! on it's a bike path! On your left, buddy! That's mean! Ah. Slow down! <laughs> <laughs> Go you! Jim and Betsy both yelled, fight on to the Bruin. However, I had already stopped filming. Here we are, just south of LAX in El Segundo. We're at the north end of the South Bay. We're warming up for our big swim from one city to another. lifeguard in El Porto. Oh, that's how fast they are. From El Segundo to El Porto. That's crazy. We're yep. nuts. We so did it. Woohoo. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, back in Manhattan Beach. Are you with him? Huh? <laughs> okay, we're in Hermosa Beach. We're walking to the beach to do our swim in Hermosa Beach, right by the pier. I'm with Jim and Nick. Nick is now our filmer. Betsy's getting pizza. No way. Wait, this is crazy. Okay. All right, we got it on. The lifeguards are concerned with Jim swimming, so they called him out of the water. Well, lucky for them, they didn't have to see him paddling. Hello, Betsy. Hello, Nick. Hello. Hi, Dan. Good luck. For the Redondo swim, we chose the area mentioned earlier, the touristy, more touristy area between Topaz and the pier. swim, Torrance Beach. <laughs> Ellie, Abby, and I swam out to a buoy, and then we raced in, and they're still upset that I beat them. 
That's it. Well, I hope you enjoyed the sights and sounds of a beautiful South Bay day. And remember that I did this so you didn't have to. Anyway, if there's anything you want me to do so you don't have to, just put a comment below. We'll see what we can do. Have a bitchin' day.